Hey, what's going on everybody? Chris Anthony here. Welcome to the channel. And, and today I just want to do a little update on the project that I've been working on for a couple of weeks now. And as you can see, I have the Techno MT410 here in front of me. Um, I was a little hesitant of picking this up because I've never done a kit before. And, you know, I was a little worried about, you know, issues that might come across um, throughout this process. But to be honest with you, it turned out to be a really good um, project for me and I really had a good time of putting this together. Um, the step-by-step -step instruction that came with this kit, it's so easy to follow. It just made everything so smooth. Um, it just made everything so easy. It took my time of uh, you know building this kit and like I said, I, I had a good time doing this. And the other thing that really made this even more enjoyable are the build quality of this kit. Um, the build quality of the parts and components that came with this kit. I'm just super, super impressed with the build quality of all the parts and components that came with this kit. I mean, it just made even more enjoyable to put this thing together. Um, I actually already completed this project. So here it is, guys. This is the uh, finished uh, project of the Techno MT410. Um, it turned out to be a really really awesome um, truck um, this is this has been a really good experience for me and uh, I just wanted to you know run through the uh, setup that I have on here and kind of share with you guys some of the upgrades that I did um, during the process during the building process so um, as for the body I picked the um, pro line um, I believe this is a Ford 150 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor um, really really impressed with the build quality of this uh, body uh, really thick um, I'm no artist when it comes to you know painting body but it turned out to be a really good painting uh, it turned out to be good not too bad so um, yeah I really like the, the way it turned out um, actually so yeah really really good body as far as for the tires, um, I decided to uh, mount uh, the backflip tires on here. It's the same tires that came with my Outcast. Uh, really, really good tires. I have a really good experience with these tires. I was going to put the Proline 40 Series Trenchers on here, but you know, I, I love the backflips. They're one of my favorite tires for bashing, and they are just very superior when it comes to um, tractions. Um, so I really, really like them. Um, they perform really well on 6S, which I, what I'm going to be running on um, with this truck. So I'm going to be running 6S on this. So very reliable um, tires. So so I decided to mount the backflip on here. Um, as far as upgrades, uh, as far as my electronics, I'm running a Happy Wing Max 8 combo, 150 amp ASC. I believe this is a 2200 kV motor. Um, a really really good combo a lot of guys are actually running this same combo on this on their um, Techno MT410 so really really good combo lots of po lots of power um, as far as for my as for my servo I believe this is a GX um, servo that I have on here um, it's one of those high-end GX servo um, high voltage uh, high torque servo I'm getting about I would say maybe like 300 almost 350 ounce of torque so it's pretty quick servo I really like that servo um, as far as upgrades I mount some T-bone racing on here um, I had it in the front and I also put the uh, I also have the um, T-bone racing wheelie bar on here um, I think having a wheelie bar is a must on this uh, on this truck on this kit um, especially with the uh, power system that I have on here so that's gonna be a uh, beneficial uh, I have the M2C racing rear chassis brace on here this is an upgrade this is an aluminium chassis brace that I have mounted on here I also have an aluminium uh, center differential plate this is an upgrade um, a lot of guys are recommending of doing this doing this upgrade so I decided to um, get that uh, it just happened to be red and also upgraded the servo horn um, it came with a plastic servo horn which is kind of surprising but I end up um, 
upgrading this uh, aluminium servo horn uh, from Techno. Um, and the other one is uh, also um, highly recommended from, from the forum, um, from a lot of guys. Uh, I also upgraded, I put the aluminium uh, suspension plate um, in the front. Um, a lot of, I guess this is one of the highly recommended upgrade um, uh, from a lot of people that have this truck. So I decided to go ahead and just get the um, aluminium sus suspension plate. Um, it's pretty good, v very high quality uh, product. And the other thing is it came, the shocks, I really love the shocks. I really love the suspension of this truck, man. It's, it's, the suspension is second to none. I love it. And uh, But the downside is for the shocks, it came with the plastic caps. Um, I did not like that. And a lot of guys from the forum and a lot of people that have this truck, highly recommended of getting a, a aluminum um, shock caps. So I decided to get the aluminum shock caps for this all the way around um, very high quality like I said this is it's, this is from Techno as well so I got this uh, shock caps from Techno and um, that's about it um, I added this hobby wing um, hit sync fan combo on here I highly recommend this I run this on all my trucks so it just helped with heat management um, it really cold cool down your motor a lot faster as well so I, I really like like I said, I run this on all my trucks because when I bash, I, I bash for a while and my electronics, they do get hot. Um, so having a fan like this, it really help with, um, you know, cooling down your motor. And I believe they do help with the longevity of your motor too. So it's very, very highly recommended. Um, I also added this uh, cheap mod that I did here for the shocks. Um, a lot of guys are actually running this or doing this mod as well, but... Um, this is just um, a simple balloon that I picked up off of um, Amazon. It's one of those straight twisting balloon. Um, I just cut it to fit the um, the shocks. Um, but what I did, a lot of guys that actually do this, they only um, cover the, the spring part. I just went ahead and um, went a little bit farther and just covered the whole thing um, from the shock rod ends all the way to the um, shocks uh, caps. Um, it's like I said, it's really cheap, but a really, really helpful uh, mod. Um, this is going to prevent you from, you know, getting dust and debris getting into your shocks. I know how hard it is to clean your shocks sometimes, and it's really annoying. You got to take it apart and take the spring out, and um, you know all that stuff. So this should be a really, really good, um, good cheap mod um, for sure. I actually run this. Um, if not all, but most of my trucks, I put them, uh, I put the kind of a uh, boots, uh, shocks covers, if you will. Um, that's about it. I think that's all I have here. I'm running a 17 tooth pinion gear on here. I can always, you know, gear down or gear up, depending on what kind of a uh, speed and torque I, I will get from this uh, pinion. Um, so that's an easy change. And I'm really liking the motor mounts of this. Uh, kit of this truck it's one of the sliding motor mounts i really like it it's, it makes it easier to change your pinion or take take out your the whole motor um, and also the you know doing gear mesh on this is really easy as well so i really like this i really like it a lot and also i really love the battery tray that they have on here too um it's a really big battery tray so you can really fit a big battery on here if you want um, like I said I'm, I'm gonna be running this on 6s so uh, really liking this battery tray and also like this battery strap system that they have on here I mean this is very very good um, straps it's definitely going to keep your battery at bay um, keeping it from popping out so really really good battery tray and very very good battery strap system that they have on here um that's about it guys i really enjoyed this build like i said really really impressed with the build quality and the build i mean the process of building this went very smoothly and very enjoyable so i had so much fun doing this like i said and um to be honest with you it makes you it makes me feel like i have a really special connection to this truck uh the fact that you're really putting it together from the ground up uh compared to the you know rtrs that i have um it just kind of make you feel like 
you know everything about this drug, you know, inside and out. Um, and that's a really good thing about putting a kit together. So, like I said, I had a good time putting this together. It was a blast doing this. And I can't wait to have a, you know, a bashing video. I can't wait to take this out and have a have fun with this. Um, so this should be fun. So like I said, I will have a running video of this pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that no notification bell so you'll be notified when that um, video is up and ready. Yeah, man. I mean, it turned out to be a really fun, um, really, really fun and awesome experience uh, for me. Um, so I highly recommend this if you're, you know, thinking about, you know, putting a kit together. The MT410 is a very tough uh, truck, uh, really good quality. They are not cheap though. They are a little bit expensive and it doesn't come with the wheels, body, electronics, you know, you got to buy all of that. But to be honest with you, it's worth the money. I mean, this thing is tough as hell. Um, a lot of guys have this truck and they speak highly of this truck. I mean a lot of guys swear by the durability of this truck and I can see why. Um, after I completed this truck, I mean I can really tell how strong this is and how durable this truck um, is going to be and um, I can't wait to have a running video of this. Um, I, I, the suspension is awesome and also I wanted to go through the, um, the fluid um, that I'm running on here. As far as as far as um, fluid goes, I decided to put a 300,000 in the middle in the center diff, and I have um, I put 100 in the front, and I also have 100 in the back. As far as for my shocks, I have I decided to put a 70 weight in the back, and I keep the front uh, stuck. Whatever the the fluid that they have for the front um, suspension. I kept that stock, but I changed the back to. Um, I decided to run a 70 weight in the back. Um, it turned out to be a really good dampening. Like I said, this this truck had a, have a really really good dampening, and I really love it. And uh, so that's about it, guys. That's my Techno MT410. Um, like I said, I really had a great time, an awesome time of building this truck. Um, what an awesome experience of building this. Um, so like I said, I will have a running video of this pretty soon. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, I will see you on the next one.